Lord Crusader. How can this be? You, you're alive. It's a miracle. You vanished in Garlis Maladar. After the battle, we searched further into the ruin and found you next to Umaro's corpse. You had no wounds on your body, but you were dead. We laid you to rest in the Undercroft. Indeed, they are. We knew you had succeeded in destroying Umaril's physical form. Tell me. Then he is destroyed. Knights of the Nine, hear me. Today we have witnessed undeniable proof of the strength and the might of the gods we serve. Slain in battle with the dread Umaro, by the grace and mercy of the Nine, the Crusader lives again. How can this be, you ask? What of our foe? What has become of Umaro the Unfeathered? Umaro has been slain by the Crusader. His very spirit cast into the void and destroyed for all eternity. He will never rise again. Let us give thanks to the Nine. By their power, the Crusader has rid the world of Umaril forever. Hail the Lord Crusader! Well met, Sir Knight. Well met, Sir Knight. Well met, Sir Knight. Hello, I'm Brother Joffrey. Emperor Uriel? You'd better explain yourself. You brought me the Amulet of Kings? By the Nine! Who are you? How did you get this? As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. The Prince of Destruction he referred to is none other than Merun's Dagon. The Emperor's words... Close shut the jaws of oblivion certainly suggest that he perceived some threat from oblivion. But all the scholars agree that the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of oblivion by magical barriers. I'm not sure. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. When an emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the Emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. I am one of the few who know of his existence. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. Now it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne. His name is Martin. He is a priest in the chapel of Akatosh in Kvach. I cannot believe that the attack on Kvach is a coincidence. You must return to Kvach at once and rescue Martin if he lives. If there's anything you need, please ask. Waste no time. You must find Martin before the end.
I've looked everywhere. Perhaps she's still in com I heard about how you helped the guard drive the Daedra back. Danger, you say? Explain yourself or leave me alone. Yes, I'm a priest. I'm having trouble understanding the gods right now. If all this is part of a divine plan, I'm not sure I want to have anything to do with it. What plan? I prayed to Akatosh all through that terrible night, but no help came. What can you possibly know that would help me make sense of this? Emperor Uriel Septim? No, you must have the wrong man. I am a priest of Akatosh. You spoke to the Emperor before he died? And he told you to find me? I don't know. What does this mean? You destroyed the Oblivion Gate, they say. Yes. I'll come with you to Wayne and Priory. Goodbye. Help! I don't know. I was in the sheepfold when they attacked. Looked around the corner to see who it was. Suddenly weapons appeared in their hands. <sighs> You're back. They attacked without warning. I was praying in the chapel when I heard Prior Maberell shout, The Amulet of Kings. I fear that was the target of this attack. We need to go see if it is safe. We'll go together. I fear the enemy came here for the Amulet of Kings. Yes? My pleasure, really. They've taken it! The Amulet of Kings is gone! So it has not all gone against us. Thank Talos for that. Martin cannot stay here. We have driven them off, but they will be back once they learn of Martin's survival. Nowhere is truly safe against the power arrayed against us. Cloud Ruler Temple, I think. The hidden fortress of the Blades in the mountains near Bruma. We should leave at once. We should get moving. I won't rest easy until Martin is safe at Cloud Ruler. Say it.
as a blade. We should get moving. I won't rest easy until Mark. Let's continue. Is this... Yes, Cyrus. This is the Emperor's son, Martin Septim. My lord, welcome to Cloud Ruler Temple. We have not had the honor of an Emperor's visit in many years. Ah, well, thank you. The honor is mine. Come. Your blades are waiting to greet you. Blades, dark times are upon us. The Emperor and his sons were slain on our watch. The Empire is in chaos. But there is yet hope. Here is Martin Septim, true son of Uriel Septim. Hail, Hail Dragonborn! Dragonborn! Hail, 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 Hail Martin, Martin Septim! Septim. Hail. Hail! Hail! Your Highness, the Blades are at your command. You will be safe here until you can take up your throne. All of you. I know you all expect me to be Emperor. I'll do my best. But this is all new to me. I'm not used to giving speeches, but... I, I wanted you to know that I appreciate your welcome here. I hope I prove myself worthy of your loyalty in the coming days. That's it. Thank you. Well then, thank you, Martin. We'd all best get back to our duties, eh, Captain? Not much of a speech, was it? The Blade saluting me and hailing me as Martin Septim. I don't mean to sound ungrateful. I know I would be dead by now if it weren't for you. But everyone expects me to suddenly know what to do, how to behave. They want an Emperor to tell them what to do. And I haven't the faintest idea. Of course, the Amulet of Kings. So we, I, can take it to the Temple of the One and light the dragon fires. The Emperor? <laughs> That's an idea that will take some getting used to. In any case, we need the amulet first. Maybe Joffrey will know where to start. All practitioners... What the Emperor took... What... If... Don't worry about me, my friend. You have proven yourself a loyal servant of the Empire. As the Grand Master of the Blades, I would be honored to accept you into our order. The Blades are sworn to the... It is my honor to welcome you into our ranks as a... You're right. You should go back to the Imperial City. You'll find Boris at Luther Broad's boarding house in the Elven Gardens. Gip... Sit down. Don't say anything. Hello there. Listen, I'm going to get up in a minute and walk out of here. That guy in the corner behind me will follow me. You follow him. Good.
Good work. I am glad to see you, by the way. You j The assassins who killed the Emperor were part of a Deirdre cult known as the Mythic Dawn. Apparently worshipped the Deirdre Lord Mayrun's Dagon. What? They took... Thank Talos he lives! Martin Septim, you say? We will restore him to the throne. There's a scholar at the Arcane University. Tarmina's her name. Why don't you take that book to her? See what she makes of it. If you learn anything, you can find me at Luther Broad's. Like I said, I hope you learn something from Tarmina about that book. What do you need, friend? Greetings, Guildmaid. What's going on with you? It's... it's... Hello! Bye. I hope I can help. Until later, then. What is it, citizen? Greetings, Guildmate. I hope... Can I interest you in some of my wares? Farewell. What can I do for you, Archmage? Ah, you must be the one I got the message about. You know of them? They follow the teachings of Maincar Cameron. Ah, yes. Commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes. Find them, eh? I won't poke my nose any further. In any case, finding them won't be easy. It is clear from the text that Maincar Cameron's commentaries come in four volumes, but... I believe that his writings contain hidden clues to the location of the Mythic Dawn's secret shrine to Mehrunes Dagon. Those who unlock this hidden path have proven themselves worthy to join the ranks of the Mythic Dawn cult. If you want to find them... Here, as I've said, I've never even seen the third and fourth volumes. Fintius, the proprietor... Tarmin... Goodbye. Hello, guildmate. Oh, it's my pleasure. You too. I hope I can help. I'll take my leave of you then, fellow Magister. I am at your service. I hope I can... Can't have you walking around without working equipment. Goodbye. I'm Fintius, owner and proprietor of the first edition. You must be referring to Mancar Cameron's commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes. It comes in four volumes. The first two volumes are rare, but you may run across them from time to time. 
The third and fourth are impossible to find. I happen to have a copy of Volume 3 on hand, but I'm afraid it is a special order. Gwyneth would be terribly disappointed if it was gone when he came to pick it up. I wish I had one. I'm afraid I couldn't sell it to you for any price. I don't know him personally, but he was very eager to get his hands on Volume 3 of Cameron's Commentaries. As a matter of fact, he's already late for his appointment to pick up the book. Feel free to wait for him if... Good day. I don't know if I can help you. What do you want? Have you been following me? It isn't for sale. The Mythic Dawn. Are you... I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. I beg your pardon. I'll have you know that I visited the Shrine of Sheagorath during the Festival of the Mad. I've spoken with Hermaeus Mora beneath the full moons. I've... What? The Mythic Dawn were the ones? You have to believe me. I truly had no idea. Mankar Cameron's views on Mayrun's Dagon are fascinating, revolutionary even. But to murder the Emperor? Yes, of course. Here. Volume 3 is yours. You can only get Volume 4 directly from a member of the Mythic Dawn. Here, take this note they gave me. What do you need, friend? You're not easy to get hold of. What have you found out? This just might be the break we've been looking for. We need to get that fourth book, then. Let's go. They'll pay for the murder of the Emperor. The sewers run. The blades have occasion. Follow me. I know how to get to the part of the sewers where we need to meet the sponsor. Get my back! Over here! 
Behind my back. This was mine. All right, the room with the table is just through this door. Huh? I happen to know that if you go up the stairs there, you can get a vantage point on the meeting room. I think I'd better be the one to handle the meeting. Good. Remember... Listen. I may not survive this. I'm glad to have you at my back. I told you to come along! Oh, yeah. oh, stop, stop. I told you to come along! Oh, yeah. oh, stop, stop. Stop. So, you want to become one of the Chosen of Mehrun's Dagon. The Path of Dawn is difficult, but the rewards are great. I have the book you seek. With it and the Master's three other books, you... There's There's someone someone else here. Come along. Brothers! Now that you have all four books, I'm going to Cloud Ruler Temple. I'll see you back at Cloud Ruler Temple. Good luck.
Speak. Well met, What else? A pleasure to speak with you. The holy book of the mythic dawn, if it exists. To find their secret, it is of, in effect, simply by finding their way to the shrine. You've piqued my curiosity about this puzzle. Check back with me tomorrow. I'll... A pleasure. I turned up copies of the first main car Camerons. Ah, but more to the point. I'll continue to study the problem. The first words... Each paragraph. 